So now that we've seen how the um, tracker software works, I'd like to make a couple of comments about the assignment itself. We're going to analyze the Cups and Clips video, which is also available on Blackboard, uh, which I've uploaded to Tracker here. Now this experiment consists of dropping some identical paper cups, little muffin cups, and they're all loaded with paper clips, different numbers of paper clips, so that each one has a different mass. The leftmost cup has no paper clip attached, so zero clips. Now, as you can imagine, the cups offer significant resistance to the air as they fall, so we expect that they will reach a terminal velocity. And as the shape and, and the cross-sectional area of all the cups is the same, this experiment allows us to isolate the effect of the mass on the terminal velocity. Uh, as we have discussed before, our model of air drag suggests that the terminal velocity should be proportional to the square root of the mass. So for this assignment, I'm going to invite you to record the position of each cup frame by frame. You're going to have to create a new track for each cup and follow it, as we saw in the instructional videos before. Now I've done this already uh, myself for the fifth cup uh, along the line here and that one has four paper clips attached. And let me show you the Y versus T graph that I got as a result. There it is. So you can see that at the beginning of the fall, the cup is accelerating, but pretty soon Y as a function of T becomes a straight line, which means that the cup is falling with constant velocity, which is given by the slope of that line. So we want to fit a straight line to that last set of points. So to do that, we'll uh, control click and choose Analyze as before. And the data tool comes up. Now, this time, I want to select the points to which I want to fit a curve. So to do that, I take my cursor and place it uh, just before the first point that I want to include in my fit. Let's say that I want to include uh, from here on outwards. So if I click on that and uh, drag, if I shift click on that and drag, uh, a rectangle comes up and it covers and highlights uh, all the points that I choose to include in that rectangle. So I shift click and drag to create the rectangle. Now these points highlighted in yellow are the only ones that the fitting procedure is going to take into account. Let's see how that works. I choose fit. Um, the default curve is a straight line, which is what I want, so I'm not going to change that. And when I click auto fit, you see that the straight line really does pass very nicely through that last set of points and it ignores the first part of the uh, curve which is exactly what I wanted. So when you've done this for each cup, the next thing you can do, the final thing that you can do with this program is to save your work. And I'll show you how to do that. We click on the uh, floppy disk and we're going to save it uh, with a file name that I would suggest would be your student ID number. Uh, my student ID number was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a very interesting ID number. I paid a lot of money to have that ID number. And uh, the extension is .drk. So when I save that file, what I've done is actually save all my work. I've saved all the uh, tracks that I've created, the plots, and the line fits. So uh, once you've done that, you can upload the uh, the file to Blackboard. I'll open up uh, Blackboard and you can see here in the course menu there is a new entry called Dropbox and that is a digital Dropbox which simply allows you to upload files there and then either Mike or I can open them up and review your work and that way we have a record of your work. Apart from that, I'm going to ask you to record in a table the mass of each paper cup, and it's okay to measure it in units of paper clips. 
the unit doesn't really matter. But you should record the mass of each paper cup and the corresponding terminal velocity that you found, because your final task is going to uh, be to use these data to verify that the terminal velocity squared is indeed proportional to the mass. Uh, for this, you're going to need to use the computers in the microcomputer lab in the junior labs area, which is always open. And they have installed a program called LineFit, which is used in the labs usually to fit a straight line to experimental data. The program itself is quite self-explanatory, but you can also ask Mike uh, or myself for assistance if you have any questions. The idea is that you can enter your data into a table in the LineFit program and then fit a straight line to that. And the program will output the values of the slope um, and the intercept of the line of best fit with an estimate of their uncertainty, uh, which you can then hand in to us as well.